In one of my earlier videos, I had shown the method that I, I teach here at Ankamitra Maths Clinic for two digit into two digit sums. Okay. This method is taught to students mainly in level 5. Till level 4, what we do is we get the students to practice two digit into one digit multiplication sums mentally. Okay, they start with the abacus calculation, but gradually they move on to without abacus calculation. And after a reasonable amount of practice, they, are, they attain good enough speed with two digit into one digit mental multiplication. Okay, that ability is very essential for this method. So let's, I'll uh, once again show you this method with four new examples. Let's look at the first example. 76 multiplied by 34 that is two digit multiplied by two digit so the answer will be a four digit answer so this being our first rod it and the units place the answer will start from the fourth rod that is a thousands place okay so out of the two numbers one of the numbers i'll have to take entirely so i'll start with 34 entirely so 34 multiplied by the tens place digit of the other number i'll do mentally 34 multiplied by 7 gives me an answer of 238. Okay, so this 238 I'll take from the fourth rod. So 2, 3, 8. The next number that is 34 multiplied by 6 will be taken from the third rod. Okay, so 34 multiplied by 6 gives me 204. I'll add 204 from the third rod. So 2 on the th uh, hundreds place, I'll add using the small friend formula plus 5 minus 3, 0 on the tens place and 4 on the units place okay so 204 is done so we have our final answer as 2584 okay so 76 multiplied by 34 gives me 2584 now let moving to the next example again here i have to take one of the two numbers entirely we can take any number as we want it need not be the second number always whichever is comfortable to us okay i can do 85 entirely and multiply it with 2 and 85 multiplied by 7 or i can do 27 multiplied by 8 and 27 multiplied by 5 separately anyway the answer will be the same in both cases in this case i'll do 27 entirely take 27 entirely and then 27 multiplied by 8 mentally so 27 multiplied by 8 gives me 216 so 216 i'll take from the fourth rod so 216 the next number will be 27 multiplied by 5 which i'll add from the third rod so 27 multiplied by 5 is 135 which i'll add from the third rod so 135 and our answer is ready the answer is 2295 2295 okay now let's move to the next example in this sum, I will take 48 entirely. I will show you why I have taken 48 in this case. 48 multiplied by 5 will be the answer will be the same in both the cases since it is the digit 5 for both uh, places, units place as well as the tens place. So I will take 48 multiplied by 5 calculated mentally once. So 48 into 5 is 240. So this 240 will be taken first 240 will be taken from the fourth rod. So 240 and again 48 multiplied by units place 5 will be 240 again which i'll add from the third rod so i'll adding 2 here 4 on the tens place and 0 on the units place so the answer is ready 2640 okay the next example the last example that i've taken is a deliberate one to show you that there could be some exceptions that we need to be careful about okay so here what we need to be careful about is any two digit multiplied by one digit multiplication uh, calculation should give us a three digit answer if it doesn't give us a three digit answer we have to make it a three digit answer by prefixing a zero to it okay now let's look at this example 82 multiplied by 25 now 25 multiplied by 8 will be my first mental calculation 25 multiplied by 8 is 200 which i will take from the fourth rod so 200 0, 0. and the next calculation is 25 multiplied by 2 which is 50 but this is a two digit number if i take 50 directly from the third rod it will give me a wrong answer 
so i have to make it into a three digit number so 50 prefixing with a zero i get 0 50 so 0 and 50 0, zero 50 okay so this 50 is uh, 50 comes on the tens place not on the hundreds place so this gives us the correct answer if we don't prefix that zero for a two digit number we will get a wrong answer this is the correct answer 2050 2050 so in any calculation that we do multiplication calculation like in tables also what we teach is while uh, by hearting the tables we tell students to by heart all one digit into one digit answers as a two digit answer okay so something like seven fives are 35 is a two digit number but two threes are six is not a two digit number so in that case we ask students to by heart it as two threes are zero six and not just six so one digit multiplied by one digit gives us a two digit answer two digit multiplied by one digit gives us a three digit answer and two digit multiplied by two digit will give us a four digit answer okay i hope this method is now clear with everyone